Hi, my name is Myra Bells and welcome back to my journey to reach Town Rankas in Coral Island. Last episode I forgot to mention, but my foraging level increased and now I can make myself some mushroom logs. And since it increased, I have a new available skill point. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with He's and Nature. Lowers the processing time of bee houses and mushroom logs. My bee houses process things way too slow for me, so I'm gonna get that. Gum Gum Human, rested and ready to tell us the story Gyu is. To the village, you must come and hear the story. Your help, we feel we will need. So that questline is still not finished, huh? I am quite interested to see what's next on the giant story, so I'm gonna go there after my chores. I also want to build a shed or a storage house. I forgot what it's called in this game. Probably a shed. But it is Saturday, so Dinda and Joko are closed, of course. <laughs> I'm also really not happy about the signs, especially since I accidentally change it very often. So once I rearrange my chest and make them all into ones with larger capacity, I'm gonna rem remove the signs. <laughs> I don't want it. And since I'm going to the giant's village, I am also going to bring some of my artifacts and fossils and gems with me so that I can upgrade some of my tools. Oh wow, I forgot to get my hoe back from the blacksmith. I think I'll go do that first quickly because they are only open until 12 during Saturdays, if I recall correctly. I forgot to bring my geodes and telfers though. <laughs> I was excited to go to the giant's village. Oh wow. Here we go. Human, goom goom. Good timing. Ready to tell us Gyu is. Gyu, ready? So, long ago, Gyu received a message from Gort. Come to cavern, it said. Gyu no see Gort many, many nights, so Gyu was many, many excited. Gyu think, hey, Gort, come back to village. So Gyu asked all giants come to cavern, welcome Gort. Chieftain, remember, right? You know could come, was busy with goddess. Yes, remember we did, audience with goddess we had. Gyu very happy, sad when other half left village. Gyu think if Gort return, Gyu be happy again. Gyu go to cavern first, no patient, no wait for others. But Gyu hear Gort say strange words, not understand. Dark energy around Gort. You try call Gort, but then, boom! Too bright and then, Gyu was stone. Strange spell that was, we know familiar. Yes, Gru remember bright light. See Gyu, but no, no, Gort was there too. Yes, yes, gone too. Just see Gyu, then bang! Grog remembers same. But Gyu, other giants at entrance, you not. On the bottom of cavern you were. Why? You do not know. Only Gort know. So Gort alive. Find him we must. But where find him? Gort say before spell learned at Savannah. But do you not know what is? Savannah. Oh, Savannah, the new area that unlocked. You may know this Savannah, do you? I need time to figure it out. We figure it out if you know, tell us. Sorry, we argue. Thought you make a giant stone. Okay, there's the apology Gyu desperately needed. Of Gort we not think. Thought gone forever. You men help us, will you? Maybe not help Gort, but... We try must. Of course I will help. Good here that is. Our thanks we owe you. Oh yeah, the world be a fifth giant. That's why. Now that I have freed four giants though, let's see what we can activate using it. I'm gonna try and enchant my sight one more time. Oh, I got one more extra drop. Nice. So we can enchant it even more. I'm using ones that only give 20 points. Hit drop also increased. Wow. Okay. This is very nice. One more time then. I still have a free enchantment slot. No energy drain. Chance for no energy to drain. Do I want this one? Uh, probably. So I can no longer upgrade the heat drop and extra drop. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try another tool then. Not the scythe. 
Let's try for the axe. I think I'm gonna just upgrade the enchantments for my axe or my peak axe. My rare drop for peak axe is now 80%, but the heat drop is just 2%. So I will try and upgrade this one. My heat drop is now 4%. It will cost 300 to upgrade it even more, so I don't think I want to do that anymore. My silver hole can have additional enchantments as well. I'll just put one more rare drop. A rare drop for a hole? Okay. <laughs> That's enough enchanting for now, I guess. Another thing is I want to upgrade my fishing pole and bug net even more. So that I can easily catch fish and bugs. I've been procrastinating doing that because I'm not very good at doing both of those. <laughs> so I'm just gonna upgrade my tools. Oh, Taco is here. Hi, Taco. You, I knew it. He's been playing with the crabs for five days now or something. <laughs> there you are, boy. Luke's been worried sick about you. Taco, there you are, my boy. Don't do that to Luke again. Taco, where have you been? I thought you went back to the mountain. Myra, thank you for your help. I think I know why he came here to play. He lived over at the inn for a while. Maybe he just missed his ocean friends. All good now. I should take him back and give him a proper bath. I knew it. He made friends with the crabs. <laughs> Come over to the vineyard sometimes, will you? Let's hang out. Taco is making me like Luke. Let's go home, boy. I'm glad that they are now reunited. The sand can be scorching on bare feet, even though it's winter? Oh my gosh, have you been fishing lately? It's like an all-you-can-catch fish buffet. No more trash. It's a miracle. The fish is where I found Stephen, right over there, in fact. Poor guy lost a claw, so I've given him a safe place to sprout a new one. And now he's your pet. I search the beach every so often for injured animals. Thankfully, I haven't found any besides Stephen so far. I saw from the internet that Stephen is a lobster. But from that convo, I might have thought that Stephen was a crab. I can also now buy a fish soup from Sunny. I'll buy one. Maybe that will increase my fishing efficiency. Yeah, there's a fishing icon here. How about grilled fish? Oh, both will increase my fishing efficiency. Okay, I, I bought two. <laughs> but what I really wanted to do was upgrade my bug net for now. I'll keep my fishing pole. I think I'm gonna try fishing for a bit more today. After I cleared up more of my farm areas. But I'm gonna leave the bug net here for 10,000. Oh, another cutscene. Again with the crabs. The crabs here seem friendly. Look, Dad, they're playing. Now, now, we don't want to be too noisy, or we might scare them off, and we don't want to do that. No, ma'am, we don't want to do that. I like Paul. I, I like the interactions with Paul and his wife and his kid. Oh, before I forget, Mark wants two bronze bars. You know what? I'll just remove the signs right now. <laughs> Okay, there we go. It's much easier to access my chests now. Mark, where are you? I should favorite him. Him and Surya. Where's Surya? Okay. They're now both at the top. <laughs> so Mark is at the community center. There's supposed to be new books there as well. I'll bring my essence with me because there might be something that I can upgrade at the lab as well. I know I don't have any up any money for development projects, R&D, but I should have enough money for another upgrade for saplings, at least. Yeah, that part was extremely laggy for me too. Rank C has been a boon for fashion. My boutique is now overflowing with the latest clothing trends. Do drop by and revamp your wardrobe. Maybe there's finally some winter clothes there. I could also look. Oh, she's building a snowman. Or he. Oh, it, sorry, it's Archie. He's building a snowman. Don't tell mom, but I always give my apples to Bon Bon. <laughs> Are apples good for dogs? Oh, don't worry. I asked Kenny about it, and he said that dogs can have apples, and Kenny is an expert on animals, you know? Okay, that's good. I'm glad that he checked with someone more expert. <laughs> Wait, I thought Mark was here. Oh, hey. He's scooping up poop. Hi. Oh, we have winter seeds now? Neat. It'd be nice to have something fresh during the chill. 
I'm here to take care of the shelter. What? Pick up a broom and help out. <laughs> Why are you still here? <laughs> Chill, I just wanted to give you your quest item. Here. And I noticed that I can also ask him out now. Whoa. Never mind. I, I got scared. I got scared. What if my heart is torn between him and Surya once again? Ay. Let's look at the fresh new books. See if... I can learn anything new. There's a book wanting to prove the existence of merfolk, I guess. I gained some knowledge about fishing. If I gain knowledge for fishing, does it increase my mastery a little bit? Like the experience? I'm not sure. There is a romance guide, y'all. Knowing your crush well is crucial in any budding relationship. It's easy to be blinded by affection, just like the saying goes. Everything looks pink through pink tinted glasses, but seeing them clearly beyond this rosy view is essential. It helps you understand if your values and personalities truly match. Start by engaging in conversations. When you feel it's time to deepen the connection, thoughtful gifts can be a great way to their heart. But be cautious, the wrong gift might do more harm than good. If you sense it's the right moment to take things further, Present them with a locket. It's not as serious as a marriage proposal, rather a sweet gesture to show how much they mean to you and to open the door to an official relationship. Good luck! Oh, I got this! Silver Tongue slightly increases your rate of earning friendship points. Oh, that's awesome! And whoa, I learned how to craft slime of replication from this. What do I need for that? I need some slime goops. Okay, I can get those. It can duplicate items. Okay. This is like a really cool item and I learned it from the library. Whoa. See, read books, y'all. It's very helpful. Oh, the lab is closed on Saturday. I want to do some fishing now. I've been fishing at the ocean a lot and I think I haven't been fishing in my farm. There is a pond there where I know I can fish and also the river here. I can fish here or over here. I'll eat one of the food. So grilled fish and fish soup both give fishing proficiency 10% boost for 2 hours. So it's not worth it to go for the fish soup unless I want the stamina. But for now I'm gonna eat the grilled fish and then I'll start fishing here. So far the only new fish that I caught from over here is the archer. I only have one small fish bait remaining. I'll craft a couple more. Then I'm gonna change locations. I think I want to fish over here instead. My fish buff is also over already. <laughs> I need to eat one more. I think the fish buff dis disappears very quickly. <laughs> For the pond over here, I caught a shrimp, so I only caught two new fish so far, and it's already 7.30 p.m. I spent the rest of the night fishing even more, and I also caught a tilapia, finally a fish that I can also offer to the lake temple. Also, I just realized that the chest where I am putting items to donate is included in the global inventory. I might have accidentally been using it for recipes. <laughs> I hope not. But let's see. I need two tilapias. One archer fish. And one shrimp. The other ones I think I'll just sell for money. Even though it might not be sold for a lot. It's okay. Oh my kimchi is ready. Okay before we go to bed. I need to play something else there. I'll put the cranberry juice just to see if it will really turn into wine. Yes, make cranberry wine. Okay, nice. And I have the lettuce kimchi. I got 20 merit points from completing an errand. And I reached level 7 for ranching. And level 6 for catching. I can now make flying insect traps. Oh, that's so helpful. And fishing is now level 4. The medium fish bait uh, can be unlocked at le fishing level 4, but you can also unlock it by reading books from the library. I earned 9,000 today. 
I have two available skill points, one for catching, one for fishing. For catching, I want to move faster while holding a net. Yes, this is nice. And for fishing, increase the crafting amount of bait, lower fish resistance. Um, I think I would like for this one, lowers fish resistance while fishing. This is also kind of nice. Chance for an instant pull while fishing, but there's only a 3% chance for this to happen. I'll get strong arms first, and then for the next skill point, I'll get the lucky angler. For the flying insect trap, I would need any honey. Oh, I haven't been keeping a lot of honey. I just have one piece right now. But I'll make a flying insect trap. Maybe I'll get a moth this way. <laughs> I'll place it near the area where I usually see the moth. So the flying insect trap should be somewhere around here. I think I often see a moth over here or over here. So I'll place one right here. Hopefully I should now get the moth even without me trying to catch it manually. <laughs> I'll place a lot more insect traps. I also kind of want to try crafting a scent. This one, ground insect scent. I will craft six of this and try to place it in one of my insect traps. Maybe I'll catch different insects or maybe it'll make catching those kinds of insects faster. I'm not sure, but I'll just place some. Oh, no, not me eating it. <laughs> I should really read the text before pressing a button. Since I'm already in this area, I'm just gonna get some hardwood as well. And then after that, we're gonna go to Dinda and Joko. I want to move my barn and coop and my silo to another place so I can start arranging the layout of my farm better. What am I doing inside the room? I'm just here to move my farm buildings and now I guess I'm snooping in Dinda and Joko's bedroom. You see a letter, don't read it. Oh no, <laughs> this is terrible. To my Adinda, take my hands. There is a journey far ahead of us. It's foggy right now, but with this letter, I promise you, my Adinda, if we walk together, it will all become clear. Take my hands and I will show you the stars. True love, my heart. We will build our home near the mountain. We will fill it with warm soup children's laughter, and happy tears. We will grow all together on the front porch, sipping hot tea on a winter afternoon, awaiting a holiday visit from our grandchildren. Be my Adinda, now and forever. Joko. That is so sweet, but this is so terrible. <laughs> Not me reading a private love letter. Hi, Dinda. This is kind of awkward after that cutscene, but I need you to edit my farm buildings for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> so moving this takes 300 gold. And of course, I forgot to clear my farm up. Hmm. I'll move the bigger buildings first since I forgot to clear up the area. I need to make sure that everything will fit in there. See, can I place the barn somewhere here? Oh, I'm really sad that I wasn't able to clear this up because this would have been a nice place for it. Will I have to edit it again though? I'll just go back and clear it first. <laughs> what I want to do is move the storage houses up there. That's why the barn and the coop should move below this pathway over here. So somewhere around here. It'll probably take a few days for this to get finished and... I don't really want to move it several times, so I just came back here to clear up the area. I want to move it somewhere here and here, so that I can still have space for more barns and coops if I ever want to have more. Oh, another cutscene. Oh, winter! Surya... Okay, I cannot with English right now. <laughs> Surya in his winter outfit. <laughs> I fumbled really badly on that one. Okay, what's up? Uh-oh. Just think with it a little bit. Which part? Mm, the back part of it. You're a scientist. You'll figure it out. Thanks, Surya. If you need me, I'll be at the garden outside. 
<laughs> I felt that sigh. I don't think my education prepared me for this. Oh, hey, you surprised me. What's up? I didn't mean to eavesdrop. Is everything okay? Oh, you heard, huh? Yeah, yeah, nothing important. Don't just stand there. Can I get you something to drink? But first, I gotta fix something real quick. Come with me. So just because Surya is a scientist, Joko and Dinda, or at least Dinda, is expecting him to fix everything in the house. Not the TV. <laughs> give it a little bong. I'm sure it'll work fine after. Oh no. Actually, that was a bad advice. Whoa. This is worse than I thought. This is a health hazard, don't you think? You okay? Yes, yeah, health hazard indeed. Uh, whoa, that was dangerous. Aunt Dinda asked me to fix the TV. She said there was something to tinker at the back or something like that. Apparently, it's supposed to be easy. I'm having a light bulb moment. Tell me I'm suggesting to buy a new one. Yeah, give it a go. Oh, no. I'm gonna get electrocuted. <laughs> I got this, I say. Oh, I really literally bought it. See, it. this always works. Okay, that was a good advice. I take it back. Good advice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you fixed it. Thank you, Myra. Well, now that is fixed. Let's chill. <laughs> what did you say you wanted to drink earlier? Sit down and I'll grab some snacks. <laughs> that was a funny cutscene. Okay, I am glad that I had to go back here twice. At least I was able to witness that. So now let's move this properly. For the silo, I'm gonna place it here, right beside the barn or right between the barn and the coop. So let's just give a little space somewhere around here yes next the barn will be over here right beside the silo and the coop should be somewhere around here oh if i do this there won't be any space for the barn animals and coop animals i guess i'll just keep them in one big fence because i want the fence to end here so Oh, actually, I want the fence to be right around this area, this corner of this uh, lake thingy here. So the coop needs to be inside that fence, somewhere around here. Yep. Oh, well, I'll just place them together. It's okay, they can be friends. I'm not sure how many days it will take. Did they say it? I wasn't paying enough attention. <laughs> but I am excited to redecorate, so I'll start removing the fences over here so that i can move it towards the new location i guess i can still use the fence up here just up until here so this is gonna be the new border once i'm able to gather more resources and i don't have a need for too many wood i'll start Changing the fences to wooden fences. I just feel the vibes for wooden fences are better. <laughs> oh, I think there should be at least a small pathway over here. So the fence should not reach up till here. I'll give it three spaces. So I can put some random decorations there. Or even processing machines if ever. For this side, I'm also gonna leave a pathway open. Three spaces for the pathway again. Then I'll place some random gates here and there. Even though I probably won't need it. I can just jump over the fences anyways. But there we go. Here is the new area for my barn and coops. And silo. Maybe I'll move the silo somewhere else after. Not yet sure about that one. And I can always extend the fence up to here. We'll see how it goes first. It's already night time. I just spent the entire day doing that. Wow, decorating can be very time consuming. I suggest um, maybe setting the time to 50% if, you're if you want to decorate your farm. I know it's not the one that I'm doing right now, but uh, yeah, I think that's more efficient than what I did. Oh, there are some fruits available. The pear and the cocoa. <laughs> I almost missed that one. I was too busy with this. I'm not sure if I can place the processing machines inside of the barn and coop itself. Can I? If I can, I'll just place it inside. Oh, it looks like I can't place the processing machines here. 
I have to put some space for them here. So either I put it outside the fences or just place them inside the fences as well. I can place them here, but I really wanted to decorate it somehow. Well, I'll just line them up on the sides and then I can think about it more later. The gates are not straight, I know that, but it, it seemed fun to have like a certain winding of roads here so that the path going here to here will not be straight. <laughs> I'm not sure. Just so you know, I am aware that they're not on the same um, y-axis. <laughs> then I can now remove this chest and move it into a bigger chest. I wonder if I'll ever need wool cloth. Maybe I'll save some. I might need it for a certain crafting recipe. I got some new honey, but do I sacrifice the honey? Just so I can get some flying insect traps? My sake are also ready, so I'll change this to pumpkin juice now. Yeah, I think I'll sacrifice the honey so I can craft more of this. I need it. I crafted three more flying insect traps. I do need to start processing more gold bars for that too. I'll place it around this area for now. I wonder if the moth appears here too, but I'll place one here too. Oh, wait a minute. I still have one more. Where do I place the last one? I feel like I should place it at a different location. I know, I'll place it here by the graveyard. I still have the solar panels and this one. For the solar panels... I don't really want to change its location yet, so I'll place it right beside my coupon barn, where it was originally. And then... I'll move the last mayonnaise machine before heading to bed. So it should be down here, okay. I'm done for the day. I earned 9,145. That's a pretty decent amount. Well, I did sell animal products twice this day. My gold bug net upgrade is now complete. I'll also upgrade my fishing pole. Oh, what's this? Hi, Chieftain. Favorite human. Finally out you are. I'm their favorite. <laughs> Grateful we giants are for freeing us. Now, together we are. An ancient gift we bring. Architect desk, this is called. Use it and to your farm, we giants shall be summoned. To any spot, any object, you may move using powers as you wish. Binit has very very long since last with another human, this we did, so rusty we may be. Work for free though, we do not. Cost you some coins, moving stuff will. Forget that, please do not. <laughs> now, take this item and upon our power, call whenever you like. This will make decoration so much faster. Thankful human we are. Wow, I just did some redecorating yesterday and I got this item today. That's nice. Can I place it inside my house? Or does it need to be in the farm? Oh, it needs to be outside. I don't know where to place it then. I'll place it randomly here first. Can I also move the... Oh, yeah. I can also move the coop and barn using this method. But it costs so much. 1,400? All right, then. <laughs> Never mind it. I'll just use uh, Dinda and Joko's services. Yep. <laughs> Even moving the silo. Well, can I move it here? Ah, okay. Oh, look at that. That's a giant. One of the giants. I forgot their name. Grog? Is that Grog? Or Gong? Well, I guess it's much easier to visualize things using this method. Oh, I can also move the trees. This is actually kind of nice. It means that if I want a tree farm, one where I can move the tappers on, I can just move the trees that I want to put tappers on anywhere I'd like. So for example, I already placed trees here that I wanted to place tappers in, but I have a feeling that I want it somewhere else. I'm not sure where yet, but I think this spot over here is quite nice for it. I just want one of each for now. So let's see, so maple, pine tree, and then what's the other kind of tree? This one. This cost me 200. Actually, what the, why does it say 4 tiles in total? Did I adjust something without me knowing? Or is it including the tapper? 
Maybe I'll move the trees somewhere around here in the future, but for now, I am happy that I'm able to gather each type of tree together and then I can place topper on each one of them so I can start gathering the materials faster. I can also move the machines even if they are processing. That's that's very nice. Can I also move the crops? I can also move the crops. Okay, so my focus should be getting more money because once I get money, it's it's going to be easier to redecorate the layout of my farm. Even the paths it can be moved. Wait, why does it say five tiles total already? I'll just finish it. <laughs> I have a feeling I moved an item that was not necessary, but it's okay. <laughs> I'll spend an extra coin for that. Then I can now put more tappers. I'll craft two more. Oh no, I'm running out of bronze bars. So now I should be able to start gathering all of the artisan goods from these trees the spacing is not equal i hate that <laughs> well since i already moved it anyways i might as well spend an additional 40 to make it all equal okay they all have equal spacing now oh which means i didn't need to stress about the fruit trees because i could have moved the fruit trees anyways all right I am also happy that it did not take a lot of time for my coop and barn to finish moving here. So I can now order a storage barn right away. Dinda, I want a shed, please. It takes two days. And I guess I'll just place it somewhere here. I don't even need to fence it in. So I intend to make a pathway from this entrance downwards. So I think I'll leave a little bit of space, some something like this, so I can place... A some decoration beside the storage house in the future. So I'll place it here. I also want to order fish pond, insect house, and meal soon enough. <laughs> but I don't have the materials for that yet. Let's see what Surya is watching. Oh, there's a cutscene. Wait, what happened to Surya? Uh, oh, okay. Hi, Surya. <laughs> Morning, aunt. I guess there's a bunch of cutscenes with Surya that I haven't seen because... I wasn't going to the carpenters as much as I want to. Morning, uncle. Did he just give them a little peck? Oh, something's gotten into you. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I've never seen you so happy. Oh, is it because of me? What's going on, Surya? Okay, I have big news for you guys. Oh wow, I'm so excited! Okay, okay, let's all relax first. Oh, it's about his career. Is this excited? I know it. Make yourselves comfortable and take a seat. He's gonna stay. Yes, take a seat. That's a great idea. Uncle, aunt, please sit down. They're already sitting. We are sitting, boyo. Why don't you calm yourself down? Okay, okay. Yes. <clears throat> the day we've been waiting for is finally here. I finally found what I've been looking for. He's found a special someone! What? Who? Oh, okay, that's not it. <laughs> but I knew it. It's about his career. No! Of course not. It must be the lab, right? Wait, what do you mean of course not? <laughs> Don't mind him. It's just a figure of speech. Is it Ling, Surya? Did she hire you full-time? No, not yet. I know. You finally found out what those scores on your bottom are? Excuse me? What? No! It's just pressure scores, I bet. <laughs> All that time sitting. <laughs> I feel like I'm okay not knowing that fact about Surya. <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. I finally found an apartment. I'm moving out. Oh, okay. I don't know what they're gonna feel about that. You are moving out? Yes, in a week. <laughs> It's this great place over by the ranch. Jack has extra space and he... How could you do this to us? After all we've done for you. I, I, I don't understand. This is a good thing. You'll have more space. Space to do what? Wail and look. <laughs> I won't be a burden anymore. I won't take your free time anymore and Aunt Dinda, you won't have to cook for me. Oh, that's what he was trying to tell me that one time when he's like, I like staying at Aunt Dinda and Uncle Joko's house, but I think he's 
feeling like he's so burdened here. And now he wants to take away one of my great joys in life. Cooking for my nephew. This, this was never meant to be a permanent agreement. I need my own space. I always meant to move out sooner or later. Like a dagger to the heart. I, I can't take it anymore. Linda... Oh, Archie! Oh, they're all crying! Whoa, where did you come from? Also, why are you crying? I'm crying because everyone else is crying! <laughs> you guys... Well, now I'm crying too! Oh, this is such an awkward moment for me to come over! <laughs> well, is he gonna move out or not? Oh, man! Let's talk to him! Wait, how can I go there? Wait, what? Is it over here? Oh, here, okay. You won't believe the awesome stuff we're cooking up at the lab now. Chest automation, it's the bomb. And guess what? If you line up three, they connect and do this super cool whirlwind thingamajig. Of conveyor belt, that's the word. You have to check it out. So, what's happening with the apartment thing? I need to crack up the heater tonight. It looks like it's gonna be a heck of a night. Don't reset the farm, okay? Oh, he's concerned about me. For some reason, I concentrate better during winter. I think it might be the cold, or maybe it's because of the quiet. That said, I definitely blame the cold for waking me up early. I feel like the cold will encourage me to stay in bed more. Also, he doesn't want to talk about that, that cutscene, so it's okay. We'll let him share that info at his own pace. For now, let's give him a bouquet. Oh, the scent does not disappear right away. So, even if I gathered something from the insect trap, the scent is still there. Maybe I'll take a couple of these for it to wear out. I didn't catch anything new though. And over here, we just caught a butterfly. That's kind of sad. The other flying insect traps still haven't caught anything yet. My next stop is with Sunny. I'll take my bug net back and then please upgrade my fishing pole for me too. Right now, my focus is completing the museum more and upgrading my tools and rearranging my farm. So, I'm not really keen on going down to the ocean or the mines right now unless I need materials. Speaking of that, I do think I need materials for... A couple of crafting recipes like slime goop over here and I feel like I need a lot of ore, copper ores in general. So maybe I would go to the mines for that. I've gathered up some fossils so let's see if we'll get anything new. Hopefully. Okay, it looks like I have some to donate. Oh, I should have brought some silver kelp essence for this as well. Or gold kelp essence. I won't have a lot of gold, <laughs> like literally, if I get this. But I feel like it's gonna be a great upgrade to have before spring comes. I only have 7 gold kelp essence here back at the farm though. I thought that I gathered up a lot of gold and a lot of kelps in general. But I'm running out of it fast. <laughs> So I guess I'm gonna go back to the mines and to the ocean to gather ores and kelps. For now, I'm gonna upgrade my seeds to gold. Raphael, please process my geodes. There's only a few. Oh, but I got Morganite. I feel like that's a new one. Good job, Raphael. And you have a really cute beanie. The topaz is also new. Nice. Good job. I um, I saw the stores have new things. It's nice with the town being ranked C and all. We only accept money as payment, sorry. <laughs> Another customer coming out of the woodwork these days, aren't ya? Oh, that smile was so cute. What can I do for you? That smile though, aww. Somehow I'm starting to like Raphael more than Pablo. I don't know. Or maybe I just want to be friends with him. Not really like like him. So the flying insect trap over here caught a fly. That's kind of sad. I can donate the Morganite, Spine, Tail, and Topaz. Oh, what are you doing? 
Oh, I didn't mean to sneak up on you like that, Grog. <laughs> I think Grog is the more mature and the most shy out of all the giants. <laughs> oh no! I'm so sorry. Why did you run away? Um, because Grog shy. I knew it. He is very shy. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I feel bad. Oh no, he just he just went away crying because I saw him dance. Oh, I'm gonna be spending the rest of my time down here by the mines, hopefully getting some slime goop and some copper ores. I only had time to go to the earth shaft and get a bunch of bunch of bronze ores i wanted to get some silver ores as well but i only stayed for a little while on the water shaft and only got a few water essence i noticed the time it's 8 40. i want to see if i can finally catch that bug well not bug <laughs> if i can finally catch that moth insect whatever i don't see any right now though there's wasp grasshopper I'll continue catching insects even if I caught it already, just so I can increase my bug catching as well. I feel like I've already caught this one, Janetta Forester butterfly. Yeah, I've already donated it. Last time the moth was always around this area. But now I don't see any. Are they afraid of my insect trap? <laughs> oh, here it is. Please. <gasps> okay, finally the Atlas Moth. And I can cultivate this one for silk production. So I feel like I should offer one to the temple and then I should keep one to put in an insect house. Oh, finally. All those insect traps and I'm the one who's gonna catch it anyways. With the help of my golden bug net of course and the skill mastery that lets me move faster. Yeah, I think both of those helped. <laughs> oh, another one. Oh, I was lucky that time. <laughs> I didn't catch that one. I will keep one of the Atlas Moth inside my winter chest. My relationship with Chieftain increased. That's cute. And I only earned 2,400 today, which is understandable. It looks like I need to go down the ocean for the kelps. I'll start processing lower quality flowers since I'm mostly using it to get... Honey for now. Honey that I'm using for insect traps. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go to the Merfolk Kingdom. It's been a while since I've been here. I still cannot access the shops right now. Maybe once I finish the ocean. But I went down here so I can gather some scavengeables, like those clams over there. That, that gives me a lot of money as well. I can also catch some shrimp and then I can also gather some kelp. So it's like hitting three birds with one stone. I need all of those. And I chose to stay here at the gold kelp area because the items that I'm going to get here will sell for a lot more than those that I'm going to get on the higher areas. Oh wait, I know that I am waiting for the lab upgrade that lets me gather trash automatically. But I feel like I should still continue on that area it should also give me scavengeables that will sell for a lot of plus it will make me heal the ocean faster maybe i don't need that apparatus from the lab after all <laughs> but i do need calves for now so i'm gonna stay here for a while this looks like a new jellyfish crown of thorns it's covered in spines that make it look like a thorny crown yeah it is a new one it's only 150 and my inventory is already full. <laughs> okay, I'll go first then. At least that increased my, uh, the amount of gold kelp that I have by a lot. I already processed the items that I caught from the ocean and it's still early so I'm just gonna go clean up the ocean a little bit more. I am not in a hurry for this though so I'm just gonna be chill about it and not use any vertexinators. Just enjoy diving here at the ocean cleaning up the trash it's one of my favorite things to do in the game anyways <laughs> i was able to activate the two towers over here so now there's uh, about six towers remaining for the entire ocean i guess 
Unless there are more that are not yet appearing in my map. I could continue this journey, but I am interested in looking at the lighthouse at the black market. Maybe that will help me complete the museum or the temples faster. Look at me remembering to do this twice in a row. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were... Ooh, what? <laughs> Don't see anything you like? Wait, where's the shop? Oh, here. <laughs> I need the Triceratops skull, but I can't afford it. I am mostly seeing artifacts, fossils, and geodes, coffers over here. I don't really see any items like, for example, the Atlas moth. So maybe the black market is just for this kind of stuff. And now that I have an Atlas moth, my insect trap caught one as well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it is another double catch. I wonder how much this costs. It's kind of annoying to get, so hopefully it costs a lot. I'll try selling some. I've also been collecting hardwood whenever I remember it, which is quite frequently nowadays. I'm so proud of myself. Maybe the lack of things to do during winter allows me to think about these things more. <laughs> I wonder if I can turn this raffle sha into honey. Oh, I can. Okay, I'll try. I'll try selling just one Atlas mod for now. I'll put another in here. So I have one for donation to the museum and one for the altars. I think I should go to the altar soon. There might be something that I can complete already. My diving is level 9 and I can craft the Vertex Sunator 3. <laughs> I don't have a lot of kelp though. My income is now back to 9,000 per day. 9,700. My fishing pole upgrade is now complete. Maybe I'll finally get that Arapaima for gym. <laughs> if I remember to. Yo, Myra, I just invented this recipe. I call it wild mushroom polenta. You should try experimenting with it. Just don't use too many of those brown mushrooms, okay? What's wrong with those mushrooms, Ben? Greetings, Myra. I'm sending you my favorite fish soup recipe. It was my late wife's. I hope you like it as much as I do. And I also got tarts from Eva. And sauteed charred from Suki. Uh oh, why is everyone suddenly friends with me? What did I do? What did I do differently? <laughs> I'll just accept it. My income for today should be a little bit higher since I have a couple of scavengeables to sell. And my storage shed is ready! Should I move everything to the storage shed now? I mean, everything will be way cleaner if I do that. The only problem with me moving all of these machines is I'm not sure if I'll remember to go back there to check the machines. But maybe I will if I make it a part of my daily routine or something. For now, I want to go to the altars. I haven't been there in a while. Let's see if I can complete anything. Oh, this reminded me I still need more bat wings. So I might need to go down the fire shaft again. For rare ranching, I got a large quail. Still need a lot more. For rare artisan, I have my lettuce kimchi. I'm on the way to making some wine and I can also make fermented goat cheese wheel, but I don't have a pig for the truffle oil just yet. I also need the mines for the super rare gems. For the night insect, I can give the Atlas mod and that finishes the night insect bundle. Okay. Freshwater fish, I can finally give one here tilapia oh a cutscene with the goddess are you gonna show yourself oh wow i really can see someone i was kind of joking i didn't expect the goddess to actually appear i've never seen her before myra at long last our paths converge i am known as the goddess of flowers a simple goddess will suffice for our discourse through your tireless efforts, you have revitalized a fragment of my lost strength, enabling me to manifest before you. The privilege of this meeting is yours to claim. As the reservoir of my power replenishes, so does the healing I can impart to this land. A thriving environment nourishes all who depend upon it. I sense you've noticed the transformation too. Genuine smiles blossoming on faces once wilted, your deeds are bearing fruit. If you persist in your offerings, my growing power will peel back the veils of the unknown, revealing new areas. 
Accept the stamina fruit as a token of my gratitude. It shall bolster you in your continuing journey. Thank you very much for additional stamina. Remember, you are always welcome here in my temple for guidance and conversation. Until we meet again, Myra. Thank you very much. I did a little cute bow for that. <laughs> so I got a stamina fruit plus 82 permanent stamina and I got a tapper. Winter Sessogen bundle will also be finished soon enough during winter. I don't have to worry about that. I do have to worry about the progress of my catch altar though. <laughs> I need to prepare for that, especially next season. I feel like I will be able to finish the monster loot and basic cooking if I just focus on it more. The remaining items are for the museum. Going to donate the Atlas Moth, Shrimp, Archer, Tilapia, and Crown of Thorns Starfish here. Now I'll take back my fishing pole from Sunny. Do you have any new items for me, Sunny? Nothing? Okay. He is now selling medium fish bait though 50 coins each nah i'll trust my gold fishing pole then i can always just use seaweed for the small fish bait i have 14 small fish baits maybe i'll craft a little bit more and then i'll spend the day fishing that took a lot of my copper kelps bronze kelps i mean i have 36 small fish baits now I'm not sure if I've been fishing here at the ocean during the morning, so I'll just be spending some time doing that by Theo's boat. Maybe I'll catch something new because my fishing pole is now level 5. Fishing has definitely been a breeze now that I have my gold fishing rod. And now I guess Theo is joining me. <laughs> He's gonna grab all the fish. But yeah, fishing is way easier now with a gold fishing pole. If you're struggling with fishing, I highly recommend upgrading this tool first before you attempt any fishing so you don't get too frustrated about it like I did. <laughs> Let's see, I caught a couple of new ones. Pirate fish? Oh, okay, never mind, just parrot fish. I thought that the damsel fish was also new, but apparently not. So just the parrot fish is new here. I'll change locations next. I also haven't really visited Nina. She's the one who lives over here, right? Well, I'll try going there. Let's talk to Theo first. They did accompany us fishing. <laughs> Day fishing's my jam. Don't need to cast out under the moonlight. What's wrong with fishing during the night? Last time I fished around here, there's just plastics all over the place. Not anymore. It's a sure sign of progress, don't you think? Yeah, it's nice. Even though I did most of the hard work for that. Oh, they're having a picnic. That's so cute. Waku told me that the temple looks better recently. I don't pay too much attention to it, but I'm curious now. Does it? Oh hey, that temple doesn't look too bleak anymore. Maybe it's just my imagination. I never paid too much attention to it. Does it look different now? That's cool. Ah, the wind is nice here. Very chilly, I can imagine. Betty is just enjoying the view. Dear, tell me, does the temple look different to you? Or are my eyes failing me? It is. <laughs> Everyone is noticing it too, Betty. If you plant bee-friendly flowers on your farm, it can really boost the bee population. And if you could set up a few bee houses, that'd be the cherry on top. Don't worry, I got you. I got a couple of those in my farm, Betty. You can watch the sunset every day from your farm, yeah? So lucky. Yeah, the sunset is always nice. That's true. Oh, this is the house. Nina is rich, rich. <laughs> Look at this, a violin, a grand piano. Everything is just fancy. Oh my god, yeah, very fancy. And you live alone here, Nina? The water is prettier lately, isn't it? It's much clearer. I can't wait for the New Year's Eve festival. I definitely missed it when I moved away. Let's check upstairs. Whoa, how many people live here? Seriously, there's a painting room. There's the office, I guess. Oh, it might be her parents' room, and this is her room. But right now, she's alone. Oh, and she's painting something. That's really cute. I wonder if we'll be able to see what she's painting. I doubt it, though. I'm so tempted to spend the winter somewhere warmer. Want to join me sometime? Oh my god. <laughs> is this an invitation? Okay. I would go on a vacation with Nina. 
she seems like a cool person. There's also a hidden chest over here for candied tree seeds. I've never been here before. And I guess this is what I was seeing on the map. Yeah, this is what I thought was Nina's house, but it is here. Abandoned villa is no longer abandoned. I guess something will happen over here once I've fully cleaned up the ocean. Can I fish here though? Too high to cast here. Okay. <laughs> Oh wait, there's also a fast travel over here. I never noticed that. Has it always been there? Okay, maybe I can fish beside Zara's boat. Sadly, it's already turning dark, so I'd have to switch to the river by the forest after a few minutes. After a few catches, maybe. It is already 6 p.m. I'm gonna go to the river by the forest. Oh, I never noticed this. <laughs> maybe it also changes per season? Taco is busy and can't talk right now. Taco is sleeping. I'm so sorry to disturb you, Taco. Where am I going even? I should go to a fast travel. Yep. I got distracted by Taco. The fast travel was just right here. <laughs> so now I'll be spending my time fishing over here. I'm not sure if I'm correct, but I have a feeling that the Arapaima should be somewhere here. Can I fish over here instead? Oh, okay. Maybe this is a better spot compared to the bridge over here. I did forget to sell the Atlas Moth, but I searched for it and the sell price for Atlas Moth is 315 for the base quality and 630 for the Ospium quality. This is kinda nice, especially once I get an insect house and can continuously produce Atlas Moths. Oh wait, Arapaima is only for rainy days. <laughs> I just keep getting chopped from over here. <laughs> I forgot about the rainy day part for Arapaima. Oh my god, there is a Slayer backpack. I can have a little Nesuko behind me from Demon Slayer. I love that. <laughs> it costs too much though. It also looks like the ground scents that I placed inside here have faded. So let's put some new ones. I'm, I am happy that this insect trap over here is catching some atlas moths for me. Oh, another one? Nice. Oh, I did catch a pink snapper earlier at Zara's boat. This is also needed for the altar and the museum. That's nice. Oh, this silver atlas moth costs 410 per piece. That's nice. Still no Arapaima for gym, but I guess I need to wait for a rainy day for that, which I forgot about. <laughs> my stamina has been permanently increased and my relationship with some people increased as well. I earned 8,500. 1,000 from my catches. Nice. Another part of the island unlocked. I think this is the way to the pandas that I keep seeing from the hot spring. Oh, I'm so excited. We are going to explore that area on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.